What's up, guys? It's Gary with Fresh from the Farm Fungi. It's been about three weeks since we started our breeding project for 2022, and we've got a few different species that have some really nice looking phenotypes. So I want, I'll go through, flip this video around, and kind of describe what I'm seeing. I really want to um, throw some of these right into a liquid culture, so I'll show you how to do that. And I'm going to transfer the rest of them onto slants. And then for the, the single isolates, I'm going to cross those out on Petri dishes. But I just wanted to give you the update on how these um, spore mated pairings and spore isolates were developing. It's been about three weeks, like I said, and we've got some really good growth. So I'll flip this around and kind of describe what I'm seeing. Okay, guys. So on the right hand side here, we've got our... Namiko, the two multi-spore plates. So we took segments from these different regions called colonies and we transferred them over to these blank petri dishes and you can see the different types of colonies that started to form. So I'm looking for pretty fast growth like this one here, number seven, looks very promising. It's got pretty uniform growth and it's pretty large in comparison to the other ones. That one looks really healthy as well. So I'm going to put these into a liquid culture because they came from one of the high concentrated dishes as well as this brown oyster. So you can see how fast some of these are growing out. Very healthy and if you notice this one is a really good example. So I think that I might have taken two separate phenotypes or you can see that one of this region of mycelium is starting to develop a different morphology than the rest. So when I go to transfer this one, I'm probably going to split it into two and then see which one develops better. And then this one might have similar features, but you can see number 10 looks really nice number nine, number eight. So this is our local summer oyster. And these two are presumptively the mated pairs. And you can see how large and spread out they are compared to these different isolates. Look at the differences between all of these isolates. That one looks really dense. And then this one's kind of sparse. So I'm going to attempt to fuse these different mycelium on the same petri dish. And if you look over at the other dishes, they've seemed to have grown out and kind of interacted with each other. So this is a good indication that some of these might be compatible. If you look here, that denser colony is crossing with a thinner colony. So maybe this one with this one, but we'll, we'll go through that in completion. And then if you come over to this golden oyster, you can see the difference between the Colorado oyster that we have and this golden oyster, which is very thin, filamentous. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful mycelium. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that sneak peek at some of the phenotypes that will be coming up this fall. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Subscribe if you're looking for more mycology videos like these. Check out our Etsy Fresh Fungi for living cultures. We've got plates and liquid cultures um, of all different varieties and we'll be posting these um, once we run them through the fruiting chamber. All right, until next time, much love.